So I've made it to the pond I'm gonna be fishing today with my buddy. He's behind the camera right now already fishing. And today we're gonna be going for smallmouth and largemouth. Unfortunately in New Hampshire, water temps are still 50 degrees, like exactly 50 degrees. We've also had quite a bit of rain in New Hampshire as well. And that kind of cloudied up the water. How deep is it? 30. Damn. So I'm gonna be starting off with a little Ned rig because the water temps are so cold, I really think the Ned Rig is gonna be the ticket. Is this what and I brought some Morning Dawn lures with me. Although the water isn't as clear as I thought it was gonna be, I still think this will work fine for smallmouth and largemouth. So I'm gonna be starting off with a Magnum Dream Shot from Strike King. And this is a tenth of an ounce chartreuse jig head. What if they're just not ready to bite here? I mean, this is deep. It's cast. Either A, I forgot how to cast bait cast. Are you moving? Yeah, like 10 feet. I actually might skip ahead to that rock pile, or where I think that rock pile is. Do you think suspending matters right now? Yeah. And if it's not, who gives this it? This is what I got. It's ten dives ten feet. That'll work. Just, just yo-yo it. Just do a straight retrieve. Just straight retrieve. Yeah, why not? Got him. Nice. Yeah. Yes. 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 Net. Yes. Net. I got it. I got it. So we got power. He's gonna jump again. I know, dude. Large mouth? I don't know. It's big, the whatever motor? it is. Yeah. He's gonna jump again. Yeah, be a, yeah. Oh, you hook you cut the bad, you cut the bad. Still don't see him. Holy. <laughs> yeah, he wants to come back up. He's got <laughs> It's a large mouth. A fat one, dude. A wicked fat one. I can't bring him closer, dude. He's just doing whatever he wants. I'm trying, dude. He's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up. Let's go! He's coming up, he's coming up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get him now, get him now. Oh, yes, dude! It, it popped out! It popped out! Yes, dude! Yes! Dude, what a monster, dude. Wait, yes. Dude. Is that someone else? Oh my goodness. No. Let's no. go, damn, dude. What do you think he <laughs> oh man. Oh, damn. He's got some. Let's go. That's dude. gotta be five. I was gonna say. <laughs> Let's go. That's what I like to see. Dude. Oh. Look at this beast. I can't even fit him on camera. There we go. I can't long arm him like I want to. If I long arm him, he won't fit on the camera. But first bass today, first probably hit. about five pounds or so. I didn't even know what it was. Dude. I didn't know if it was a fat football freaking smallie or. Yeah. Even when it. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I might be copying you again. You keep catching fish on that thing this time. <laughs> so just caught that beast of a largemouth in 49 degree water temps. How deep, too? Well, I mean, we're probably in 15 feet. 
but we were in 25. The boat was in 25. Because he went, dude, he went like straight down for yeah. a while. But uh, honestly, I thought it was going to be catching more smallmouth today, but if I catch largemouth like that, obviously I don't mind. But I have this bait on 8 pound line to a 12 pound braid main line. So I really had to uh, play that fish so he didn't snap me. Is that the one that's like fried? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that just makes it like 10 times better. I got to actually do that. So I think we're going to kind of chill around here. Like 12 feet and whatnot. It's gotta be that way. Yeah. 10,000 acres, there's plenty of different spots that will. My line went around, like your line or something. It's a copper run. Speed limit's like a million. Oh. Uh, I think I just had one for a second, but I wasn't paying attention. Might have been one. Yep. Got him. It's a bass. Oh, Lord. Net. Net. It's another nice one, dude. Probably a four pounder, though. He's coming up. He's coming up. I'm just kidding, like a two, two and a half. I think it's a smallie though. Yeah. You want me better? Yeah. Thank you. Just to be it safe. Be some fucking smallie. Yeah. Yo, let me get one of those pink baits. Okay. I get both. Oh, there we go. That's a good hook set. Whoa. Oh, my tubby Smalley. <laughs> He's not very long. He's dude, feel his tummy. Dude. Like, it's just you can feel, like, the fatness of it, dude. <laughs> all right, not a bad fish at all. I kind of wish I had my underwater camera, but I forgot to bring it. But this is a solid, chunky smallmouth, real heavy. You want to keep that? No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about it. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you for the really nice fight, smallmouth. Dude, that thing was so fat when it jumped, I thought it was huge. No, it huge. definitely looked like a three <laughs> or something like yeah. that. Yeah. No. Sitting. Yeah. Dude, I just had a small mouth follow me up from the bottom, by the way. It looked like a pound and a half. Oh, what? Oh, I'll take it. I don't care. <laughs> dude, I'm not going to lie. From the way you reacted, I th I thought, oh, dude, it's on the pink worm I gave yeah. you. <laughs> you thought what? It was bigger? Yeah. Like you got into that stance and I'm like, oh yeah, my God. Well, actually, the reason why is because, yeah, see how far it was.
It was way down. And I was like, um, oh man. This definitely doesn't feel like it's giving like a snag or something. So I'm just like, okay, there's something on this. Be Peter and Ian telling me? Yes. Have you been paying attention to that cabin? Do you think that's why it's abandoned? I keep probably. Just, there's just ghosts. Nobody <laughs> wants to buy it anymore. Or just the homeless person. I don't. We don't know. That's true guy. too. <laughs> it could be a ghost. It could just be a Got him. That? that was moving. Is that, is that moving? Yeah. It doesn't know he's hooked. He's just that big. <laughs> Goodness, dude, is he that big? I was kind of being sarcastic. It's a large mouth. Is it? I think. Yeah. Oh! God damn it. God, I mean, eh. Dude, look how he is hooked. <laughs> Oh, I don't think he's gonna be off. Oh my goodness. Fought. Oh shit, no, he could have got off. Yeah, it could have ripped pretty easily. <laughs> oh yeah, no, maybe you're right. Maybe if I just kept my drag nice there, he wasn't gonna... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> there we go, a solid bass. I'm assuming he came off this beaver dam right over there. But maybe a pound and a quarter, pound and a half? You know what they say. What? Nope. Got him. Matt. No. Matt. Dude. So that is it for this morning, and overall, had a pretty good morning fishing out with my buddy. Catching that five pounder right off the bat was actually really cool. And it was pretty sweet that it came on this small little Ned bait here. I'm using a 10th of an ounce jig head here, which actually worked quite well. I didn't get hung up in any of the rocks at all. What I was using was a Magnum a Dream Shot in morning dawn color, five inches. Oh, that, I thought this blue. As you guys can tell, right on the package it says open pour technology, and these baits are actually poured slightly different from all their other baits. These baits are poured specifically to be a little bit more flexible, to be a little bit less durable, but in turn that gives this bait a lot more action. And of course it comes with that coffee smell and I had this bait tied to eight pound sunline fluorocarbon which I don't think played the biggest role just because the water is a little bit cloudy because it rained so hard the past couple days anyways thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it peace